Hey guys, welcome back to Redbeard Outdoors. We are on episode two of the ultimate front deck build on my boat. I got a better camera for you today. My other one was acting pretty weird. I don't know why it was trying to autofocus so much. I got some packages from Amazon already. Why don't we take a look at those and open them up? Look at that, guys. Got the switch assembly right here. That's pretty awesome. 12 volt. USB charge. Comes with a rubber seal. That'll be nice. Wiring diagram, which I do need. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but it has stickers for the buttons, screws. Awesome. Let's see what's in the next box. We got the uh, battery charging plug. We also have the floodlight. It's going to go on the front of the boat. Got two of them in there. I'm not going to open both of them. We get the deck built, we'll be ready to start running with the, uh, the wiring assembly. A couple items I wanted to tell you guys about. Um, I got this as a Christmas present. It's um, colored LED lighting strips. I will be putting these around the boat. Not 100% sure. I, I was thinking about the outside, I might do the inside, I'm not sure yet. I will go ahead and put the total to the uh, project build, even though this was a gift, and I will throw it up right here. I also got this as a Christmas present. This is not going on the budget build at all, uh, but I just wanted to let you guys know about it. It's a 24 volt battery charger, which is what my front trolling motor setup is, is 24 volt. So that's going to be awesome and really helpful. And then I can use these plugs right here to plug in this battery to it. So that'll be really nice too. That is all the packages I have right now. So I'm going to do a little bit of work on the front of the boat. Let's check this out. This chair is in the way. I've been trying to get it off for about a year now, and I feel like it's really stuck in there. So I'm gonna take that plate off, uh, being that we're reworking all this and try to uh, remove some weight. We're also gonna take that seat plate off, um, clean out the box there, and take the Garmin and trolling motor off. So let's get started. Look at that guys, there was uh, years of dirt in there that I just vacuumed out. This seat gone already. I uh, am blown away by how much room there is. So uh, I'm already pretty excited about that. Hey guys, quick note, I got the new GoPro 8. It's a 4K camera. So pretty excited to do some uh, sharper image uploading for you guys and uh, Helping with this documentation. It also has uh, stabilization control, which I'm pretty excited about also because uh, I do a lot of filming on horses and it makes for pretty unstable videos, so this should really help with that. So I'm pretty excited to do some uh, field trials and fishing with this. Should be pretty awesome.
All right, guys, trolling motor is unbolted. That was way harder than I thought it was going to be. Um, I'm not really ready to cut all these zip ties yet. Not committed to uh, breaking all those yet. So I'm just going to set this trolling motor down on this bucket for now. And uh, maybe in the future I'll do something with it. Up next, I'm going to explore the option of possibly popping a rivet. This guy right here. I've never done this before, so I'm just going to kind of play by ear and see what happens. I know that's hard to see guys, but there's a big aluminum decking underneath here. I'm going to have to conclude if I can pop this whole deck off. If not, I'll just leave it and build around it. Um, that might be a lot of work, but let me show you this center storage right here. Here's the side of it right here. It is full of a lot of foam, as you can see right there. So I keep my trolling motor batteries in here and there's a, a lot of wiring right there that's running through the boat. I'm thinking it's gonna be way too hard to tear this whole deck up I'm gonna sleep on that decision a little bit more and decide what I'm gonna do and try to figure it out later I'm gonna clean out this front little storage area and then call it a night hey guys just a quick reminder if you're new here please do me a favor and go subscribe to my channel and follow along on these upcoming boat builds I'm going to have uh, a lot of episodes on this and you guys can follow along help me out along the way with some comments and whatnot so go subscribe and in the links below I have um, links to my Instagram Facebook and Twitter that you guys can also follow along I'll post photos on there along the way one thing I want to mention to you guys is I've been looking into this um, fuse box also realizing that I need a fuse box with all those switches and lights on there I need to add this to the budget, so let's go ahead and tack on 39.76 to the budget and see where we're at. Hey guys, new day. I have decided to take the top off right here all the way and I'm going to cut a channel down through here and I'm going to leave the side foam built up over to the right and left yeah that's my decision I slept on and decided to come up with uh, I'm gonna start by I figured out how to get this off I'm gonna take that that door hatch off too so let's get that going Got the seat mount off. I have the lid off. You can kind of see the channel I'm talking about through here now, right here. Also have this mounting bracket for the light. I'm gonna hang on to that and put it on my new deck. So I need to catalog that somewhere so I don't lose it. And then um, next up, we're gonna 
start popping off the this aluminum carpet deck right here. So I'm gonna pop all the rivets like I did uh, the other day. All right guys, I got the aluminum carpet played up and this is what it looks like. That was all the foam I was talking about and I really feel like that's a lot of flotation so don't really want to uh, lose that. So like I said, I'm gonna cut a channel down the center right here and keep the sides. Popping all those rivets were a lot harder than I thought they would be. Um, it took a lot of brute force and I also drilled the tops of the heads off and got them out of the way and was able to pry it all up. Yeah, that really sucked. Let's go get the grinder and get started here. finally finished up and uh, that was a project let me tell you I'm kind of glad I'm not taking these off because uh, that would have been a ton more work but I'm pretty happy with how much room I'm seeing right now and especially with this open channel way right here I decided to leave that brace right there I didn't want to cut that out um, I might think about it later but I'm gonna leave it for now because I think it's a good support brace right there and I didn't want to cut it. So one other thing I need to do is I need to take these uh, rod holders off right here. I think I'm going to put a step in right here. So let's get these rod holders off. I just got this fishing rod holder off. Not sure where I'm going to put it yet, but I'm going to put it to good use somewhere. Uh, not much of a rod holder, but um, my grandpa made these, so kind of cool. He made them himself out of a piece of metal and PVC. Not much to it, but it gets the job done. Uh, it did a good job where it was at. The only thing I didn't like about it is every now and then I would cast and catch the rods that were sitting in it. So it's in a bad spot for casting up front on the deck. It's good that I'm moving it and putting it somewhere else. Today I got done the cutting of the deck. I got that channel opened up, did a lot of uh, vacuuming. All those metal shavings are in the carpet pretty bad. So I'm really gonna have to work on that some more and figure out how to get them shavings out of the carpet. That way they don't end up in my bare feet. Cause uh, once I'm done, it's gonna be nice to uh, walk around without any flip-flops on or anything like that because I'm going to have a padded deck on top. Stay tuned for the next episode. We're uh, going to go to Home Depot and we're going to buy some plywood and some 2x4s and a couple other items. I'm going to take you along to uh, show you guys what to look for and uh, here before too long I'll be able to start building the deck. Still kind of have a ways to go but at least we can go buy the wood and get going on that. So. Stay tuned for the next episode. Make sure you subscribe so you get notified of my project and how it's coming along. And if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please smash that like button 
and I will see you guys on the next Redbeard Outdoors episode and the special front deck build of the boat. I'll catch you guys later. Remember, get outdoors and keep fishing.